Oh, that's how folks it. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like crying. <laughs> How's it going guys? I've just picked up some new wheels and suspension for the Civic. I just thought I'd show you basically the ride height at the minute and the gap. It's obviously it's an awful gap. But yeah, they're currently sat on the standard um, steel, steelies, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the 13 inch, obviously no good. Um, they did the part for now, massive gap along the sides. But yeah, we'll go and have a look, see what we've got. Excuse the missus dirty car at the minute. Right, so basically, these are standard Honda wheels as well, but the 14 inch. So they're a bit bigger. The tire size is a bit wider um, for what we're gonna go for eventually. Uh, I got them on a really good deal with these uh, lowering springs. I've not got a clue of the make. It's called a uh, E-Back, e -back? I don't know. Apparently it's about 40 mil or something like that, so. Sit it a bit lower, these are for the gap a bit more. But yeah, I didn't want to make it one of those videos again where it's uh, basically me just refurbing some wheels. So while I've got him, I thought thought we'd quickly give him a refurb. You can see here, like there's all curb brushes and whatever, you know, stone chips. Not really too fuss. They're not the, uh, the end goal wheels that I, I wanted for the car, but as I'm going to stick some new tires on them, I did want them to uh, scrub a bit, make them look a bit nicer. So yeah, basically the plan is, like these, I'm just going to sand it back. But here I've got some um, body filler for this section. I've never used it before, I thought I'd give it a go myself. I'll just let you uh, know how I'm getting on. So, Mayor Saginaw, just about to do the suspension on my car. Um, what happened before with this header tank is... Yeah, it actually snapped right here and cracked. So, to quickly sort it out so we could use this car as it hits us daily, he um, put a classic Subaru header tank on it instead. And basically, he made the, um, what, what, what was it been about how uh, everything was right? Uh, basically, this pipe here, down here, uh, basically, it, it just didn't, didn't fit at all. Yeah. And uh, the pipe ran through this way on the header tank. So, I had to reroute the cable all the way off. Yeah, so we finally got round today to uh, put the new age one back on again. We're just making sure there's no leaks or anything else and he'll be good and on his way. So I'm about to swap the suspension on it now, put the uh, lowering springs on. And uh, let me get this light on here, try and show you. This bottom bolt does not look pretty. Not look pretty at all and the bushes are shot. So. I'm getting some bushes ordered in for it and uh, I've heard from a lot of people that when they try and uh, swap these over, these snap. So what I've done is i spent a while, put some uh, WD-40 on. Basically in this side, it was that rusted up on that one bolt there that I, uh, I smashed a, a two side, uh, well it was supposed to be an 18 mil, I smashed a 16 mil over it it's done the job it's it's actually coming out fine so i'll show you how we get on with it later on all right sorry about the background noise guys my brother's uh started on his projects again We're waiting for it to warm up and we've uh, we've sorted out the launch control in it now we didn't get a chance of the day to show you so let it warm up then we'll show you what that is so i took the uh, suspension off this side of the car and i didn't even know it's cracked, clean brake, snapped it straight up. So it's a good job that I am doing this to be fair. I, saw, I just noticed, I was looking at it, I thought the spring looks a bit bent. Turn it over and there you go. So it's a good job that I am doing it really. It's not been that hard to do to be fair, I thought. There's a lot of people moaning saying that a lot of parts get snapped, but yeah. 
not easy enough. This is the other one that I took off the other side. This one's not snapped, but. Yeah, so it's going off. Honestly, I fucked it. <laughs> There's a lot of people moaning saying that a lot of parts get snapped, but yeah, not easy enough. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like crying. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so basically, the bolt snapped on there, and these uh, bushes are shot anyway. So. I'm just going to order a low control arm set um, and then I can get it all sorted once they actually come in. It's shit, it, it always seems to happen to me but oh well, I'm working with old cars all the time so of course I'm going to come into things like these so. Right then guys, so I've managed to get all the wheels on the car and I got the front um, low wind springs on and I think it's filled the arch quite a lot nicer and also you get to see the uh, the calipers now but yeah i think they look really nice i think it suits the car well but the uh this is how it sits compared to the back see how high the um the actual arch is yeah obviously it's not the lowest in the world with these springs on but it, it, it is quite a lot better so at the minute it's kind of set um quality is not the best guys sorry there you go so yeah Anyway, um, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for some parts to come for the back end, I'll leave that for another video to show you. Um, I have managed to get on this strut brace. Um, I ordered it in a, uh, it was like a light red, but it actually came in this colour and it, I think the colour looks really nice. Um, see if we can get, that's focus, there you go, M2 Motorsport. It, was, it weren't that expensive, it was like £45 or something like that, so... So yeah, um, to get it on, I think it's actually made for an EK and this is an EJ. So to get it on, I had to bend this bracket here for the throttle cable. Um, and also <laughs> I had to take the air box actually off like the top half of it and all of this section. Um, I did, I just took the air filter out anyway, just so it sounded a bit better. Honestly, I, I couldn't care less about the, uh, this engine at all. I don't care if it starts knocking, I don't care if it, uh, brakes okay about anything i'm not doing any oil changes it's, it's been like 30 or forty thousand miles without any oil change or spark plugs or any service at all so i don't really care i'm just gonna leave it um that's why i don't care that that's just off at the minute um the other engine when it comes this um strut brace is gonna fit it well um so yeah 
So that's where it sits today. Because the whole like back's all snapped and I'm waiting for the parts to come for the rear end, uh, I can't really do anything. <laughs> I can't drive it around anywhere. And it's kind of sat like on an angle like this as well. So um, while we're waiting for that to come, and the only other thing that I've done actually from besides put the front um, lowering springs on and the uh, strut brace is uh, the grill. So I took it off, I hate chrome, so we painted it black originally. And my friend says, hey, why don't we um, just paint the uh, the actual H on the Honda logo red? So I was like, yeah, all right, we'll try it. And um, it just came out a bit brighter than um, expected. So I'll probably go over it, spray it black, but I am getting the um, grill ordered, sorry, ordered with um, just like the mesh there instead. So that this section, like, I don't know what these are called. So they just don't exist in the car. So yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely with the um, the suspension and the, the handling of the car in general anyway. Um, obviously these are only like temporary, the low wind springs. We're gonna see how they actually are on the road. Um, but I do want to have coilovers instead, just so it is a bit more stable. Um, I, I am going to get some new tires as well. Um, I think we'll leave that for another video because they are some pretty nice tires that can actually go on these. These are just stock um, uh, Civic 14 inch uh, wheels, yeah, so. Right then guys, so as you saw in the other video, I snapped this bolt here. And then I tried it again today on this hub bolt and no luck with that one, that one snapped. But luckily the one in the top of the subframe it didn't snap on me. So I've still yet to do this side. These still both gonna snap, know that. So I've ordered in some parts, finally got them in. Got some Skunk 2 low control arms. Um, also a uh, rear subframe and subframe uh, tie brace. So it's going to make the whole back end a lot stiffer, but hopefully it's going to go dead smooth and not snap any more bolts. Honestly, to do the honestly, just snap, man. Oh no, wings are she spinning? They might not snap. Oh, we're in, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Sit down to the side. No, it's actually doing it. Oh, we're in, boys! Sounds punchy. Oh, Honestly, this side's been lovely to you. Stuff like that. One. Yeah. So I've got it all ready to go on. I finally got the um, right suspension on now. Just with these ones, I've actually got the lowering springs. Um, but we've got, we've got an issue where I'm trying to put it on. It's actually hitting here. So we're going to have to chop the back box off, lads. So I'm just Get some fork cannon action going on. Why not? It's the only way it's gonna be done. Is it just where you're gonna are you gonna cut it or you're gonna Yeah, I'm gonna literally saw straight across there oh, at okay. the minute. So then it comes out straight. Then, yeah. yeah. Alright. So yeah. Luckily it weren't as bad as uh, as the, the right side, but still a pain in the arse. My advice would be, if anyone wants to do this, try and find a car that's had, already had it done. <laughs> because it's, honestly, it took so long. All these snap bolts, they're just, it's ridiculous. But, it's an old car, 23 years old. It's gonna happen, isn't it? So I had to chop the exhaust off so it could actually fit because of the um, rear subframe sticks out a bit more than the standard one does. So, just to make it uh, somewhat bearable at the minute, I extended, I just put a, a little pipe there, just done a little tiny weld there, and made it look like a stock, stock tip pointing downwards. So if you're looking down from the car, it looks it looks stock, but um, obviously all I've done is, is chuck the bloody exhaust off 
to make it fit so for the time being that's how it's going to be but um yeah i'm going to try and find another exhaust because it's just stupid loud at the minute it's still got its cam resonator but it's still so loud but um anyway the car is sitting a lot lower now it's a lot better it's a lot more tucked up sorry it's taken so long to get this video out it's just we've been waiting for parts after bolts snapping here there and everywhere and it's been a right nightmare so like the video guys thank you very much so then boys i've just pulled up i've had a look and damn man look at that billet action look at nice man